ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, which is a neurodevelopmental disorder which is present in childhood and um, also persists in many cases into adulthood. ADHD, by the time it presents in adulthood, often doesn't have much in the way of hyperactivity. The brain matures considerably throughout childhood and hyperactivity and restlessness is often um, much less in adulthood. The commonest presenting symptom is actually difficulties with attention, concentration and focus. So in other words, people often present with difficulty concentrating on their studies or at work. A very common symptom is marked procrastination. People with ADHD find it very difficult to start projects and often leave things to the last moment, sometimes missing deadlines for exams or projects at work. It's fair to say that in the UK it's not, uh, not diagnosed as frequently as particularly in America and Canada. What is clear, however, is that ADHD in its milder form is relatively common in the population, particularly people with mental health problems, and may present in various different ways. It may present with anxiety, lack of confidence. People may be diagnosed as depressed. But quite often, standard treatments for depression and anxiety make ADHD worse. There isn't a one-size-fits-all treatment for ADHD, as in fact there isn't really a one-size-fits-all for any mental condition. There are two main approaches. Um, people can be treated through psychological means, cognitive behavioural therapy, specialist CBT for ADHD, which um, can be demonstrated to be effective. The alternative or complementary treatment would be the use of medication. Um, in fact, the, the, the medical treatment, the medication treatment for ADHD can be spectacularly successful. Um, and quite often people um, find that that treatment on its own is, is so effective that they do not wish to go on to have psychological treatments, although some people do. And quite often I would say to somebody, the, the interview and the questionnaires point to the diagnosis of ADHD, we now need a therapeutic trial of treatment, these are the options. And we look at the various options, and I would usually send the person away with a prescription, if they're happy to do that, having checked that they're physically well, they don't have any cardiac conditions, for example, um, and would review the person, usually a few weeks later, and uh, assess whether or not they've responded. Treatment for ADHD is actually remarkably effective and that's coming from a general psychiatrist who for years was a little bit sceptical about ADHD like many of my colleagues. It's actually only when you see people being treated and you see the improvements that they make and the rapidity of that, that, that improvement that you start to realise that this is a real condition which is eminently treatable. In in terms of setting us apart from other services with ADHD, it is more about the rapidity of response. I can respond within a week. I've seen people who've had to wait six or even 12 months before they get an assessment from a specialist service. Whereas, I suppose what really sets us apart is that I can see people usually within one week and they will have a comprehensive report within another 10 days. Um, what I would say is that um, coming for an assessment is simply coming for an assessment. Um, there is no obligation to take treatment or, uh, or anything else. It's simply uh, an exploratory procedure to see whether or not there is a problem there which can be treated. Uh, if they want to pursue treatment, then treatment can be offered.